Good evening, everyone. Happy Ascension Day. Um, this May 21st, 2023. It's a very good year, very good Ascension Day, a very good Easter season. I hope it was a good um, Lenten season for everyone and then also an Easter season as well. Um, you have that two-fold effect there of the penance then the rejoicing. Um, and so we are able to rejoice today because of um, the passion of Christ, the um, just the efforts from the great saints, uh, especially in addition to our mother Mary, um, being the mother of God. I'll put that on the screen there. Um, you have two uh, Marys there. Anyhow, um, I was reading The City of God today, uh, the Incarnation. That's the second book. Um, you can see the other two on the other couch there. Um, I found them at the bookstore yesterday, and you can see the other series, the Will Durant uh, series, the history series. But anyhow, I was just sitting on my couch. Um, I picked up this book. I was like, what is this book? It's called City of God. Um, I knew it wasn't Augustine. I knew it was um, by, I forget her name, Mary Agrita. Um, I'm sure, she, I think she's a blessed. I don't think she's a saint, but um, anyhow, it's like her private revelation. It's like, um, as I thought before, with St. Hildegard, that's also private revelation. You pick up private revelation, you're like, oh, it's um, somebody's just imagining things. Oh, it's, it's not real. Um, but then you actually start reading it, and you're like, whoa. Um, you see all the things, like all these small things, these small details. You're like, um, in a way, it almost has to be revealed to that person in a supernatural way. Um, so yeah, the point of this video is just humility, the importance of humility. Why is humility the foundation of all virtues? Um, so I would say, after reading this and meditating a lot today, that it is the foundation of virtues because it's the armor of all virtues, the armor of the saints. So if you don't have humility, you open yourself up um, to attacks from evil all these things um, and these attacks will eventually deteriorate and destroy the virtues um, as long as you have humility you ward off pride and then you open up you protect yourself so that you're able to cultivate the other virtues but if you don't have humility you might as well forget the rest of the virtues um, they won't grow um, it's farming season so all these plants uh, they're growing but if um, if those plants didn't have humility, they wouldn't grow. So just the connection there. Um, you have to have humility to grow because it's the protection. In a sense, you wouldn't have the ascension if you didn't, if Mary didn't have humility and if Jesus didn't have humility. The reason um, that uh, all the forces of evil, all the demons, why they didn't know that uh, Jesus was God right until... Um, the moment of his death on the cross was because they um, they through their own pride could not see that he was God uh, and Jesus in humility lowering himself in humility cloaked himself and so that's what Mary did as well being extremely humble um, she misled the demons in the same exact way they expected a great king or they expected a great queen um, and they both were led astray by humility. So again, humility, humility, hum humility, humility, humility. It's hard to say three times fast, but um, anyhow, yeah, that's the demons. They they can't see humility, so they can't see. They can't attack people who are humble. Um, they can notice that you have it. So I'll take back my pre previous, previous statement there. Um, but yeah, if you have humility, they can't touch you, even if they, even if they notice um, that you're growing in holiness. They can't um, use things against you, because if you're keeping pride in your heart, anger in your heart, the demons, they can turn those in on themselves. They can destroy you by your own vices. Um, in a way, they're trying to keep 
us humans away from the happiness that we're able to attain because they can't attain it. So that's um, the thing we have over demons. And it was uh, Saint Moses the Black, I believe, or Saint Ephraim, that said, uh, "You can you cannot outclass the demons um, in any other thing besides humility. You have to sleep. The demons they don't sleep. You have bodily limitations. The demons uh, they're angelic, but they don't have humility. So that's how you outclass the demons." And that's uh, the example God showed us. And like um, the mystical city of God here, it was talking about how if the demons knew that Jesus was God uh, while he was still alive, they would have attacked him in that way. They would have made um, the Jews, instead of encouraging the Jews to kill Christ, they would have encouraged the Jews um, to worship Christ as an almighty king. Um, but I guess the reason he didn't, why God didn't come to us as a king and instead came to us in humility is just the relatableness to everyone. Um, that's the ultimate example of the cross, that God loves us. So yeah, that's um, also the incarnation, just being able to relate to humans. God became human. Um, he shared in our human nature so that we could share in the divine nature. Uh, and I also read a quote from Francis Bacon, I believe, the other day that said, um, If humans don't have these spiritual qualities, they're indistinguishable from the animals. Um, so yeah, it's, we have to partake in that divine nature. And we have to partake in the virtues, especially, and firstly, the virtue of humility. If we want to be, firstly, men, or women, humans, and if we, secondly, and they go hand in hand, become children of God. So I hope everyone has a good Ascension Day and have a good week. May God bless you all.